My name is Dr. Steve Osofsky. I'm the Executive Director of Wildlife Health and Health Policy at the Wildlife Conservation Society. I also oversee our AHEAD program, which stands for Animal and Human Health for the Environment and Development. And today I'm going to talk to you about a project we call Beyond Fences, Policy Options for Biodiversity, Livelihoods, and Transboundary Disease Management in Southern Africa. What I want to describe to you is an interesting change that's going on in the Southern African development community related to the interface between livestock agriculture and wildlife conservation. Historically, there's been a big emphasis on the exports of beef from Southern Africa to places like Europe. In order to do that successfully, this, the community has had to rely on fences to separate African buffalo in particular, who harbor a virus called foot and mouth disease that is uh, of importance to the livestock sector. Over the years, going back many decades, thousands of kilometers of fences have been built in order to facilitate this export. Today, wildlife has actually become an engine of economic growth in this part of the world. And in fact, those fences have been very detrimental environmentally to the point where hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of wild animals have died trying to migrate seasonally in order to access grazing and water resources. So we have a fundamental conflict between the disease management paradigm that's currently in place to control foot and mouth and what's becoming an increased interest in transfrontier conservation where wildlife populations are being reconnected because today, wildlife-based activities contribute as much or more to the GDP of this part of the world as agriculture, forestry, and fisheries combined. So what we really need to do is find a win-win solution so that we continue to have a diversified option, set of options for livelihoods. We want to be able to facilitate livestock agriculture and beef exports, but we also want to be able to facilitate this new vision for transfrontier conservation or peace parks. The way to do that is to look at animal health policy and ways to make beef safe for international sales, but that also doesn't require all the same amount of fencing that's currently impeding wildlife migrations in this part of the world. So today, I'm going to talk about new approaches to this policy challenge that will allow both the livestock sector and the wildlife sector contribute to economic growth and development in this part of the world.